everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do aliasing of I.O. inside a Connected Components Workbench for the Micro 800. So let's go to the computer here, and I'll just go ahead and create a new project. And we'll create it here. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have used Control Logics or Logics 5000, Studio 5000, often wonder, hey, can I alias I.O. in those little uh, Micro 800s and you can after this project's done being created I'll show you how so here we have what we call global variables these would be like your controller tags in a control logics and if I open that up you'll see my IO it has a strange nomenclature underscore IO embedded digital output underscore IO embedded digital input and if I want to alias them I just fill in the text here in this alias column for instance uh, this would be my stop button this would be my start button, and this is going to be my, let's see, I think I want number four. This is going to be my test button. And I can do the same thing with the outputs here. I can say, let's see, start would be output number six, or I should call it run. And I'll make the uh, test light number four, test. You can see there, you can't have <laughs> A duplicate name for an alias. So I'll change that to test pilot light and I'll change this to test push button. And I'm using very simple aliases here. Um, of course you'd want to come up with your own naming convention like we do in my Nano Basics course. But in any case that's how easy it is to alias uh, you know IO inside of the Micro 800. Now if you found this video helpful please leave a like and if you'd like to learn everything you need to know to program the Micro 800 programmable controller, check out my course over at nano-basics.com. And if you'd like to support me and help me make more free videos and publish more free blogs, and in fact help me remove all the ads from all my blogs and from all my videos, then consider leaving me a pledge of $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.